I think it was with mullet, but I'm not, I don't remember. Uh, you and Yager kind of had a little conversation there in the, in the initial skates. He kind of patted you on the head. I was wondering if you could share anything that he might have said then or anything else during practice. Oh, uh, uh, I just, I know it's going to be a special day tomorrow. So, um, so some people might know I worked 68 my entire life. So he was my, one of my favorite player, uh, growing up. And, uh, I just asked him, I say, um, you know, would that be possible if you could sign my warm, uh, my jersey tomorrow? Um, that's going to have like a, his patch. So, um, no, I just, uh, never really had the chance to sit down and chat. So I know tomorrow is going to be an emotional and, and a, a big day for him. So I didn't want to bother him tomorrow. So uh, we just share that little story. What has this day been like for you, Chris, getting the chance to spend time with someone that you looked up to so much? Oh, it's special. I mean, and he's still playing. That, that, that is crazy. I, I thought at this age I would be like, I don't know, in my wheelchair or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he's just, uh, and you see he's passionate, you know, he's like he was sitting down and him and Sid were just chatting about hockey. The first thing he said when we came in, said, I came to see this guy, he keeps getting better with age. So, uh, you know, it's, it's fun to, it's fun to watch somebody that passionate and somebody that, that brought uh, so much for this city and this organization and having the chance to be part of that night and, and be there and witness it, it was going to be special. Chris, having met him now and talked with him a little bit, do you think he would have fit in with this group or the group you had in 2011 when there was all that talk? Uh, I mean, everybody can fit in. <laughs> I mean, I think, you know, we had so many types of personalities, so many type of player over the years. We won with different type of guy, like, um, you look like a guy like Chad Kessel that, uh, you know, help us win the Stanley Cup, you know, like he would have come in, he would have bring a different dimension. Um, I'm thinking like a veteran president like him in 2011, we're still young, we're like mid mid twenties maybe. Um, so, you know, you, you need those guys. Like you think of like Billy G when he came in in 09, like um, with Hal Gill, like they brought our group uh, a different dimension and, and they brought different stuff for our team and made us better. So obviously it would have worked for sure. Okay, what was it? Number one, who wore the malt better? You were Ned. And just how iconic was that? I didn't see Ned. He had a helmet <laughs> on. <laughs> but uh, usually I do have long hair, so it's closer to that than right now. Um, I would say me. And just how know. iconic was that haircut for Yager back in the day? Oh, it's crazy. Like, even the celebration, like, the thing that he was doing, the salute, and, um, no, it was, uh, like, for us, like, the 87 group, like, 88, 86, you know, he was an icon, like, some, like, like, not only that on the ice, it, it was, like, crazy what he was able to do, but, you know, his personality and everything that he kind of brought to the game was also special. It's what was it that made you attracted to him or look up to him when you were younger? Nah, it was just spectacular, you know? He was big, strong, powerful, like, hands, vision. Um, and the Penguins were one of my favorite teams, so it made it even better. But, uh, you know, all of that, you, like, the total package. I know you guys can't tuck in the jerseys, but I don't think anybody's going to have a salute tomorrow if they score. Uh, <laughs> I cannot say anything about tucking. I feel my jersey is always tucked because I'm always like bent over, so it goes in. But uh, pretty sure we'll see a couple things going on.